Hey everybody, it's Scott from Historical Reenacting by Scott. Um, I wanted to sort of introduce um, myself as a person and um, kind of give you a glimpse of the life of mine, uh, my life. Uh, my birthday is August 13th, 1995. Um, you know, I'm going to college in a few days and I've been fascinated with reenacting reenacting for a long time, but I've never actually done it. Um, Abraham Lincoln has fascinated me for years, and he I must admit he is one of my favorite uh, wartime heroes and presidents. Um, as an actor, you when you get into character, you do what reenactors do, especially if it's a period piece. Um, you walk as they walk, you walk in their footsteps, you immerse yourself in their environment. And what I do is I do research on my character or whatever. I mean, for shows, I researched Vince Fontaine and the Teen Angel for like three hours just trying to figure out his character. Um, you know, for Robert Lincoln, he's an actual historical person. He lived on this earth. So, um, I got a book called Giant in the Shadows, uh, The Life and Times of Robert Todd Lincoln, Robert T. Lincoln, pardon, by Jason Emerson. He's a fantastic, fantastic author. He wrote that over the course of years while doing research. It was beautifully written. One of the best accounts I've ever heard about Robert, and the longest by far. Um, so detailed, but that'll be another video. Um, the reason I decided to do Robert was because when I went to Springfield, Illinois, like three or four years ago, um, we visited the Lincoln home, and my family is a family who camps all the time, so I'm no stranger to sleeping outdoors. We recently got a trailer, and like I said, that's another one of the other videos, so probably will be. Um, so we're a family who camps, and we went to Illinois one time, uh, to Springfield, Illinois, just to see the Lincoln Home. Well, we got there, and um, it was closed. I mean, they had just shut down. And we went to the back backyard, um, through the gate. I, mean, I had no idea what I was really getting myself into. And the guy comes out, the park ranger comes out, and he's talking. And he's like, oh, yeah, we just closed. So we come back a few months later, and it's actually winter time. It was gorgeous. It was Christmas time. It was around Christmas beautifully decorated city and so we go to the Lincoln house that's when I first got the kick I guess you could say a Lincoln historical nut and that's really what kicked my desire to want to be an, a reenactor into overdrive because before then it wasn't really much of a big deal you know I hadn't really thought about it much honestly I gotta be honest with you I hadn't thought about it much um, you know I thought it was that's kind of cool but I connected with Robert and not only do I look like him on some aspects? I can understand what he went through as far as connecting, like I said. So that's that. Um, quick update. Um, I'm expecting an email from Jason Emerson uh, tomorrow, actually, um, with information on his dress habits and all that stuff and how he walked and talked, because I'm pretty dang serious about this guy. Um, I want to do him faithful. I believe that if you're going to do reenactments, there has to be one, a passion for it, and two, you have to be willing to put forth the time and money and effort to do these things properly. I'm not trying to bash anyone who is in the, uh, who's just starting out like me, because I have no room to talk, um, but you've got to do your research, and if you're not going to do that, you're not I wouldn't say it's something you're truly passionate about. So, I'm going to leave out with that, and um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.